Where we are, I think, to me, is still very preliminary, and we should not rule Adani out at this stage. We need to give the authorities, those with the responsibility, opportunity to look at this matter, process it further. If the courts will allow uh, or clear the runway, let me repeat again, then let it be concluded in a manner that is objective, so that no party feels hurt. And as I said initially, that we need also, the processes need to be clear, even if you are terminating. The processes need to be very clear, so that any investor out there would not treat Kenya as a hostile ground for investment. Because we have also to be careful. If we do it in a way that would send signals that this is a country that does not support direct foreign investment, then we are running the risk of in future not attracting investment. But that does not mean we don't have to be careful about how we go about it. The only thing I'm saying is we need to do it in a way that is so objective and so clear that anyone out there who is still interested in this country knows that we have laws and the legal framework that operates. Thank you, Chair. I submit.